Hey, my friend, welcome to day three. How are you doing today? You taking a deep breath yet? Now's always a good time to do that. <sighs> today we're going to talk about frankincense as a catalyst for self-mastery and why it's even important. What if I told you that the key to creating a life that you love actually starts with leading yourself first. Yes. Self-mastery isn't so much about control or controlling. It's about alignment, aligning your thoughts, your emotions with your words and actions, with your truth, the truth of, of who you are. Now the world around you, the world around us is louder and busier than ever. And it's super easy to get swept off in the current of doing and striving and reacting to everything outside of ourselves and that just leads us exhausted I know this from experience true leadership begins when we turn inward when we connect to our inner wisdom when we lead from a place of clarity and intention my phone is crooked and I'm gonna have to just straighten it out there frankincense and the sacred oil of truth as we know it, truth and connection, is one of the most powerful tools for this journey of cultivating, catalyzing the, the leadership within. Let's talk about leading from the inside out versus the outside in. There's a big difference between these two styles of of being, of living. I would say it's, um, hair on my face. I would say it is like two different operating systems, right? Outside in leadership looks like reacting to external pressures, trying to meet everyone's expectations, staying stuck in the cycles of doing, striving, really overtaxing ourselves energetically with, and with, we're not truly aligning with our deeper purpose. It might feel productive and we might be programmed to think our productivity is tied up, our worth is tied up in our productivity, but again, this is just going to burn you out. Totally been there. Inside out leadership, on the other hand, starts with presencing with self, aligning your heart's desire to your mind, to your words, to your actions, it's about slowing down, clearing the noise, and making choices that reflect that which you hold true in your heart, your core values, your desires, how it is you want to feel. And committing to daily self-connection, mindfulness practices, emotional processing practices are key, I would say daily, in, in this inside-out way of living. And frankincense comes in and beautifully helps us clear confusion, helps us find clarity in the heart and mind and connect us to what's real and to what's true. Now, frankincense as a catalyst for self-mastery, let's look at it through the lens of Chinese medicine. I've been working with uh, the oils on acupoints called aroma point therapy. And so I like to look through this lens and lost my train of thought. <laughs> Looking through the lens of Chinese medicine, physically, frankincense helps us move stagnation in the body. It quickens the blood. It relaxes the sinews. It helps dispel wind and dampness. Now, when stagnation builds up physically, it can leave us feeling stuck, and it not just physically stuck, but emotionally and mentally stuck. There's really no separation between our mind and our body. So the heart's role in Chinese medicine, it's seen as the home of the spirit. It holds our vitality, our purpose, I would say our deep, deepest wisdom. And when the heart 
is balanced and aligned. And even when we're breathing deep, the heart rhythm smooths out and we drop into a state known as heart coherence. Everything's kind of linked up, synced up, listening and talking to one another. That is the gut, the heart, the brain. When that's in a balanced, coherent place, we're connected to what truly matters. When it's out of balance, we might feel flat, directionless, agitated, uncertain, pulled in all these different directions. Frankincense helps us connect back to the truth of our heart's desires, brings in that clarity, brings in that acceptance, brings in that renewed sense of purpose. And it supports the small intestine as well. Small intestine is the heart's paired organ, and its role is to sort and evaluate. I like to think of it, always picture the Harry Potter sorting hat. So you can think of the small intestine as the sorting hat for your life. It helps you sift through the options, the desires, the dis- dis- distractions, and all of the things we have to digest in order to identify what truly resonates with your core, your core values, your, your beliefs, your desires. Frankincense supports this process beautifully and helps us focus on the activities that Not just the activities, the activities, the relationships, the ideas that nourish our spirit and align us with our true path, our true north. I I find it's true and you can kind of anything I say, you can sort through for yourself if it resonates. Great. Um, If not, that's okay too. But most people are afraid to be fully honest with themselves, especially when their truth doesn't align with the expectations of family, culture, society, going against the grain there that can be very uncomfortable. Uh, Frankincense invites us to let go of what isn't true and embrace the fullness of who we are from the inside out. It reminds us that we're here to thrive. We're not here just to survive. I believe we are all we are all here to thrive and we all have that capacity and capability built in. We just have to set up the internal scaffolding and that may require outside support too, yes. But we're here to thrive, to create beauty and to have a legacy that lasts and keeps supporting. And that requires going beyond meeting just our basic needs and doing everything from the outside in to really be honest with ourselves, to step into what we truly want. Frankincense is like an amplifier. It helps amplify the best parts of ourselves, helps the false truths, the deceptions fall away, and our inner light turns on. We have some more clarity. We can cultivate devotion to our unique path. Confusion's dissolved. Clarity comes in. It makes it easier to trust and honor what our heart truly wants. And through leading with our heart and being who we really are, we inspire others to be who they really are too. We're like living, walking permission slips. And really, I don't know of anything more important in this life than to be who you really are. So here's a practice that you can do with frankincense to connect just to your inner wisdom. Again, I say, I'll, I've said it once, I'll say it a million times. You don't have to do anything with the oils, really. Just apply. <laughs> and then we get to rub palms together. We're activating that pericardium eight point there that we did in the first day. Take a deep inhale. Limbic system's getting all, your brain's getting all connected and lit up when you take that inhale. And then you can place the hand over your heart. Simple act of self-connection. Oxytocin is released from your system by this simple act of self-connection. And you can ask, what does my heart truly desire? Breathe in, breathe out, and just stay open to listening. What steps can I take today to honor and align with my true path? Show me the next step. Listen. Sit with what arises. Pay attention. We can call on and use frankincense to help guide us into that clarity and connection. And remember that self-mastery is a journey of alignment, 
aligning with the truth, <laughs> aligning with intention, and frankincense is here to support you every step of the way, helping you release what no longer serves, what's no longer you. Let it go. It's time to expand into the truth of who you are. And that helps you access new potentials within you. There's so much latent potential in all of us. And this just helps open up new opportunities, new solutions, new ideas. So how do you connect with your inner wisdom? And what does leading yourself first look like for you today? I'd love to know. Drop in the comments and anytime you comment, you may be helping someone else too. So let me know, let us know. And don't forget that you can grab your free 15 ml bottle of frankincense with a 200 PV order this month. The links are below. And if you need help cult cultivating, customizing an order, please reach out. I'm happy to help you. And thank you for being a part of this journey, for practicing. It doesn't take much. It just takes the remembering to do it and it's forming habits and the anchor, the oils form beautiful anchors to help us remember to practice. If you take two, three minutes with an oil morning and night or morning, noon and night, you will completely see a shift, but you have to stay consistent with it. It's nice to do it once, but you get like this compound effect over time that really unfolds beautifully. So hope that is useful and helpful to you. I will see you in the next video. Have a beautiful day wherever you are.